Jared, folks. How's it going today? It's Dave here, a.k.a. The Gypsy. And some folks in the SEO Dojo were asking about how to get some profile pictures to work in G+. So we're going to go through it because it's just not that easy. Uh, here's the basic problem. Uh, the new formats are kind of on the large size, as you can see here looking at Jeremy's from Raven Tools. Uh, it's kind of on the freaking huge side, which is kind of useless. So, the old ones are nice and small, and folks were asking, okay, well, how did I manage to get mine a bit smaller, which kind of looks like this. And believe me, it wasn't as easy as you might think because of some of the sizing and configuration issues that Google has. So, uh, first things first, let's go make a image 21 by 20 wide. It doesn't matter, I'm using Photoshop here. 21 by 20 wide by 1192 tall. Uh, basically, that's the same constrained proportions that they use in the smaller ones. You just got to scale it up so that, uh, as you'll see later, when we shrink it back down, it's going to work. From there, basically, just uh, make the image any size you want. Uh, mine, I'm going to use the portion here, as you see, so it's all ready to go. So we're just going to take like that. Now, save the whole image. Don't uh, don't uh, crop it down here in Photoshop or whatever you're using. You're going to save the whole image. So we want to take that, and we're going to export that whole thing over. Now we're going to take the whole thing. And we're going to use that to replace our cover. Well, obviously, mine's been replaced, but we're going to do it again just to show you where the problem is. So when you go to upload one, here's what happens. You go and you get your picture. You upload it, and uh, it'll, well, hold on a second. Let me get this one, and you'll see exactly what the goddamn problem is. Once it comes in, you can uh, crop it, but it constrains the proportions, meaning you can't crop it as you normally would being able to drag it to where you want. So if you see here... You can crop it out to this size, which is the huge one we just made. But if you try and go smaller, nope, you cannot pull on these. So this is all you can do. It constrains the proportions. That's why we used the big image when we started. So now we got a big badass image that, of course, is going to look like crap when we upload it. But uh, let's do it anyways. Look, there we go. <laughs> so next thing, just double-click on that header image once you've got it in there. What that's going to do is bring up this, and you're going to go to Edit Photo which, of course, is going to bring up Googly's little image editing application in Google+. Plus. It can take a while, but they've got really humorous little messages in there for you. And once you get in here, we're just going to go over to Crop. And magically now, Google has given us the ability to actually crop these as we normally would in an image editing software. Look at that. So then you crop it down to the one that you've created, to the where you want it. Getting rid of all the other stuff. Just save it. Uh, replace obviously and crop and bingo you should now have your new picture and all you have to do at this point is close it refresh your page and voila there's your new resized one that one's a bit big because well I've got the screen shrunk down for making this video but you get the idea it's dynamically um, changing them and that's that's where the problem is is that's why they're keeping it so big and that's why you want it big too because if not you're going to have pixelization you you want to keep some nice dpi to it and uh here let's drag this over a little bit to the right be able to see it's all looking good drag it to the right so it looks like a normal page and blink there you go and that's it folks um that's for the folks who are asking me <laughs> and that's how she works